All right, hello students and welcome to what's going to be a very long video about how to create your first song in GarageBand. So I'm just gonna go up here to the magnifying glass so I can get on the search spotlight. And you can see, you just type in GA, that should be enough to, to find GarageBand and I'm just gonna tap return to open it up. So GarageBand opens up, it opens up to whatever your last project was. And since I was connected to a fancy microphone last time, it's giving me this error message saying, hey, the last thing you had is no longer connected. So I'm just going to say, that's okay, don't panic. So I'm going to go, if something opened up here, um, you need to go to File and then to New. All right, so now we've got this window that opens up and we want to have an empty project. And we're going to go ahead and select Choose. Okay, and then when this window opens up, um, let's see, we want mic or line. Uh, do you know what? Let's just click MIDI for right now. Just MIDI and then hit create. Doesn't really matter. We're going to throw this track away in just a little bit. So this is our opening of GarageBand. This is where tracks are going to be. This is where our volume controls are going to be. And we have some libraries over here that we're going to work with. And uh, I can just close that for right now. I hit that little drawer and it closed that drawer on the side. I'm also going to turn off these two purple things here. We do not want these on. So turn those off. Okay, now please understand, anything you listen to on this video is it playing out of my MacBook speakers and then back into my MacBook microphone. So the sounds that you're going to hear are not going to be crystal clear, as you're going to hear with your headphones on, but just bear with me, okay? It's just, it's enough for you to understand what the things are going to sound like. Okay, so we have the basics of the beginning of a song here. So the next thing we need to do is go up here to File, sorry, GarageBand, Sound Library, and this one should be grayed out. Download essential sounds. Do you see how mine is gray? That means that every, all the essential sounds have been downloaded. If yours is black, then you need to click on it and you need to download the essential sounds and then come back in a couple hours when those have downloaded. So you need to go find something else to do. But mine are already downloaded, so I am good to start building my song. Okay, next thing I need to do is I'm gonna click on the loops icon right here. And here are, let me just um, open up this area here. Okay, so um, here is everything that's in my uh, loops library. Now if I open up beats here, um, you will see that there's these sections of missing beats. Okay, that's because you only have the essentials. You don't have everything. Um, you have ones that are missing, uh, depending on what instrument you select. Let me cancel this again and go with electric piano. You see that, see missing, missing. So don't panic if you see ones that are missing. That's just because they weren't part of the essentials pack, okay? So that's okay. So um, the first thing that we're going to do here is, and I always like to lay down a beat for a song, okay? So I'm going to go here to beats, and um, I'm really wanting something, I, I want to do something from the 80s, um, because, you know, when I went to middle school, it was in the 80s, and with Stranger Things and everything, you guys have kind of gone back to the 80s a little bit. So you're going to build this with me. So everything you see me do, you're going to do as well. And you see how there's four things from the 80s here. And we're going to probably use all four of them. But let's just, I'm just going to tap on it once here. Oh, already, I know I like that. <clears throat> it's very similar, just slightly different. Great. Don't know about that. Okay, so I tap once to play, tap once to pause. Okay, so I'm going to take this 80s backbeat and I'm going to drag it into this. Do you, do you see this area here where it says drag Apple loops here? That's where I'm going to drag it to. Boom. And I'm going to take it all the way to the beginning and let go of it. Okay, so I've got my 80s backbeat here. Now that I have that, I don't need this track here. So I'm going to two finger tap on my trackpad. I'm going to say delete track. Okay, because I don't, okay, now we've got the 80s backbeat is at the top. And now there's two choices. I can stretch it. You see, if I'm low on the track, I can stretch it. If I go high on it, I can loop it. Stretch it, loop it. This is also edit, like it'll cut it too. So I need to loop it, and I need to get to somewhere around like 41 bars. Let me just loop this out. I'm going, going, going. Oh, it's stuck at 31. It won't go any farther, so let me go find this little tiny triangle. This little triangle right here, I'm gonna grab that one and stretch it out. You gotta get to around 41. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we go back and loop this. And I don't know, is that somewhere near 41? I can't tell. There you go. Okay, so, I mean, something close to this. We'll come back and edit this later. But uh, most songs are going to be around 41. If I put my playhead here and I change this to beats in time, 
that's about one minute 39 seconds. So our song is going to be somewhere around a minute and a half long, which is okay for what we're doing here. So this is where we're at so far. We just press play and we just have a beat. Nothing fancy there, but just a beat. Okay, good start. So now let's go from start. We said we had something here, this console chip. Okay, so I think I might use that as part of my intro. So let me go ahead and slide that. Again, I slide it to the empty part here. And I think, hmm, I think I want to have that. I think I want two, be two measures. These are all measures, right? This is measure one, measure two, measure three, measure four, measure five. And they're all the different measures. And we're going to always be multiples of two. So I'm going to do an intro as two measures. So I'm going to go grab the lower part of this. I'm going to trim this back. So now, and this one is the rewind to beginning button, press the rewind to beginning, and then it becomes the stop button. Do you see that? It, it changed. So when it's here, when your playhead is here, it's rewind to beginning, and you click it, and then it becomes the stop button. Okay. So let me hit play. Okay. Everything is perfectly in beat because you always, you see these gray lines here? You have to line up on that. If I take a something and I drag it and I don't line it up on the beat. See how this one's not lined up on the gray line? If I play that, it's off beat now. Yeah, see it's fighting itself. It's not on beat. So I'm going to go ahead and press delete and two finger tap. I want to delete that track because we don't have that there. Okay, so I think we have a bit of an intro here. So we have a little, it starts with the drums and then All right, very nice, very nice. Uh, when we come back in the next video, we're going to build the uh, verses. We're going to build verses and choruses in the next video. Can't wait to see you there.